deserves. Exactly a month ago, over a million people marched together from 125 countries to demand attention for the climate crisis. And a lot has happened since then. Here are a few key moments. We've produced 3 billion, 300 million tons of greenhouse gases worldwide. 12 climate activists stripped at the London House of Commons to draw attention to climate change, making international headlines. In the UK, Extinction Rebellion launched their youth branch. In the US, the Senate blocked the Green New Deal. Last week, 4,200 Amazon employees advocated for the company to cut their ties with the oil and gas industries in the largest employee demand against climate change. And today, we're launching Extinction Rebellion Youth U.S. SR Youth U.S. is dedicated to being a bold, vocal, inclusive voice of youth as we coordinate acts of non-violent disruption across the nation. We stand with Extinction Rebellion's demand for the government to tell the truth about climate change, to act now for net zero carbon by 2025, to create a citizen's assembly, and for climate justice and a just transition. Fighting climate change can feel like a shot in the dark. Like when we protest and yell about how they are killing our earth, it isn't really clear who they is. But like any other story, the story of climate change has a villain. The villain is the 100 companies that produce 71% of all greenhouse gas emissions. The villain is the CEOs who pay their employees one one thousandth of what they make. The villain is a culture, an economy focused on consumption rather than benefiting the world. The villain is the governments that have succumbed to bribery and corruption, that have chosen profit over people, that have been manipulated into pumping our earth with poison. The villain White House that pulled us out of the Paris Climate Agreement. They continue to leave those in Flint, Michigan to drink contaminated water after five years and they invest in coal rather than renewable energy. The villain is the feelings of complacency that creep into our minds and pull us back onto our couch. That tell us it's not your problem. That make people stay home today instead of coming out and protesting with us. The villain in this story is very clear, but so is the hero. The hero in this story is you. The hero in this story is every person that takes a stand for the environment. The hero in this story is, is you tirelessly moving through the streets and elevating this issue through social media. The organizations constantly battling multi billion dollar companies and corrupt politicians with non violent direct action. The heroes are people like you Youth versus Apocalypse and Extinction Rebellion. People who never give up. Extinction Rebellion was born out of the idea that everyday people need to unite to make change. <laughs> Extinction Rebellion is artists and scientists, construction workers and economists, electricians and waitresses, students and teachers, parents and children. But most of all, Extinction Rebellion is people who want a future for ourselves and for the generations that come after us. <laughs> Extinction Rebellion is us, and Extinction Rebellion, along with everyone else standing up for our Earth, are the heroes in this story. In the UK, Extinction Rebellion has already captured international attention from their disruptive acts of non-violent civil disobedience. Taking inspiration from Greta Thunberg, the March from our for Our Lives organizers, and other non-violent leaders, Extinction Rebellion held a funeral for the planet created a blockade at a fracking conference, marched at the youth climate strike, and have numerous events planned weekly moving forward. They've marched, glued their hands to walls, and gotten arrested. They've cons 
consistently put themselves at risk to bring attention to the overdue dialogue that needs to be had about climate change and to demand immediate and comprehensive action to fight it. And not only that, Exxon has spread into an international phenomenon. From South Africa to France, XR is building global urgency about climate change. Now, we need to do the same. Historically, being the largest contributor to greenhouse gas emissions in the world, the United States has played a central role in creating this climate chaos. And it's our job to lead the solutions to combat it. We need to block roads and plaster the XR logo across the country. We need to make headlines. We need to go bigger and louder. We need to sound an alarm now so that we can have a future later. We need to join this global initiative with as much seriousness and creativity as we can. We need to battle for our Earth relentlessly. Because fighting climate change can feel like an overwhelming task. But when we all work together, we are more than strong enough to succeed. Today, we're sounding an alarm. Alerting policymakers, CEOs, and citizens that this is only the beginning of disruption until they begin to acknowledge the urgency of this issue and respond to our demands. For youth, Extinction Rebellion has committed to showcasing our voices, allowing us to be front and center in determining what our future will look like. Do you remember being a teenager? Nobody is better at being rebellious than youth. We need to channel our rebellious nature into a constructive purpose. We don't need to be rebels without a cause. We need to channel that rebellion into our cause. And then we will achieve so much. Yes. Extinction Rebellion has laid the foundation and created the momentum for this movement. It is time for all of us to take charge of our future and save our Earth. <laughs> The purpose of government is to protect its people. But for decades, our government has left us defenseless against the development of climate change. Our government has failed us. When a government does not protect its people, it is not their government. We will not continue blindly on this path to apocalypse. We will take back our government. We will take back our rights. We will take back our lives. And most of all, we will never stop fighting. and join XR Youth US. Um, if you're interested in getting in contact with us, please follow our Twitter and Instagram at XR Youth US. And if you're watching this remotely, we're looking for passionate youth across the country. So again, at XR Youth US. Thank you so much.